Hello everybody, today I'm going to explain and demonstrate what is a sawtooth wave. Alright, let's dive in. A sawtooth wave is kind of a non-sinusoidal waveform. It is named based on its resemblance to the teeth of a plain tooth saw, like the one with the serrated edge. A sawtooth wave is also called as a ramp waveform because it ramps up gradually and then drops down. It, colloquially, it is also referred to a mixture of triangle and square waves because it resembles the linear gradual rise of a triangle wave and the sharp drop of a square wave. Now, sawtooth waves are rich in harmonics. They have both odd and even harmonics as opposed to square waves and triangle waves which, are on, which only has odd harmonics. Now, due to the fact that it has both even and odd harmonics, it sounds much brighter than square waves and triangle waves. It will be evident when you take a look at the frequency spectrum. Alright, there are two types of sawtooth waves. So one is a positive sawtooth wave and the other is a negative sawtooth wave. In case of a positive sawtooth wave, the wave ramps upward and then sharply drops. And then this cycle repeats on and on. In case of a negative sawtooth wave, the wave ramps downward and then sharply rises. And this cycle goes on and on. Now the most commonly used sawtooth wave is the positive sawtooth wave. Alright, the sawtooth wave is represented by the arc tangent function where x is a displacement, a is the amplitude, and p is the period. Alright, now just let's just listen to sawtooth waves of frequencies 500 Hz, 1000 Hz, and 2000 Hz, and correspondingly let's look at their frequency spectrographs and study their spectrum. Alright, this is a positive 500 Hz sawtooth wave. Notice the large wavelengths consistent with the low frequency, and this is how it sounds like. So this is a spectrograph of a 500 Hz sawtooth wave. As you can observe here, it's, it's a lot messier than square and triangle waves because it has lots of high frequency content. And not only that, it has all the odd and even harmonics. So the first dominant peak is 500 Hz and the next one is 500 times 2 which is 1000 and then 500 times 3 which is 1500 and so on. So this gives sawtooth wave a rich texture like in terms of sound. So it sounds much richer than square waves, triangle waves or sine waves for that matter. This is a 1000 Hz sawtooth wave. Notice the decrease in wavelength as the frequency is increasing and this is how it sounds like. Alright, this is a spectrograph of a 1000 Hz sawtooth wave, so the fundamental frequency is 1000 Hz followed by 2000, 3000, 4000 and so on. This is a 2000 Hz sawtooth wave, the wavelength is decreasing further as the frequency is increasing and this is how it sounds like. This is a spectrograph of a 2000 Hz sawtooth wave. So the fundamental frequency here is 2000 Hz and the harmonics are 4000, 6000, 8000 and so on. Alright, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day ahead.